Hello, this is Anthony Kiribash from TCDSB21C doing a quick introductory tutorial to swipes and gestures on the iPad mini iOS 7. Everyone knows that basic use of the iPad is just point and click. And in order to close an application, you hit the home button. While on iOS 7, there are a couple of new gestures that you might want to get familiar with. Let's say you have an app open and you want to close it. Yes, you could use the home button, but if you wanted to preserve the home button, as sometimes they get uh, glitchy or insensitive over the years, simply take five, hand, five fingers and pinch the app closed. So once again, I'll open up my apps by pointing and clicking, and then I will take my five fingers and pinch it closed. It takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get it. In the old iOS, in order to view apps that were running, you used to double tap the home button and it would give you a list of apps running across the bottom. So in this case, if you swipe left and right, you'll see which apps are running. In the new iOS, if you take four fingers, touch the screen anywhere but all four simultaneously and swipe up, then you'll also see those apps that are running in the background. So watch again, four fingers, swipe up, and it shows which apps are running. It's a good idea to close apps either every, every night or once a week because the more apps you have running, the more battery use uh, you'll have, which will eventually degrade the battery. And to close an app, swipe up and away, up and away. Let's say you've got multiple apps running and you want access to them. So if I have iTunes U open and I have my notes open, in the old iOS, you could simply double tap and navigate between the two. With the new iOS, if you take four fingers and you swipe from right to left, you could open the other app immediately. So you don't have to double tap. And if you want to go back, you swipe the opposite way. So those are nice new features for the iOS. Finally, and the little known fact with um, iOS 7, is if you're looking for something and you can't be troubled uh, to remember where it is, just put your finger in the middle of the screen on the home screen and drag down. This opens up a search bar and you are able to search just about anything on the iPad and if you can't find it on the iPad, a search on the web will be suggested. So if I do want to open up my notes, I'll type N-O-T-E-S and it will bring up my notepad. Okay, and that's how you use the simple basic swipes and gestures.